What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another car video. You already know it's your boy Zay, Young86. I am your favorite young YouTuber. No, we both know I am not your favorite young YouTuber. There's a lot of them, but one day, one day I will be able to say that I could potentially be your favorite young YouTuber. Hmm. All right, uh, in today's video, we are going to be swapping out some spark plugs in one of my homie's trucks. He hit me up last night and he asked him if I could help him swap over his spark plugs and his 2005 Ford Ranger. So I'm going to do so today and I'm going to vlog it. I figured car channel, car things, two and two together for, you know. Um, we are already out here, so we have all the stuff ready to go. We have the Omni Spark cords, uh, dielectric grease, or whatever you want to say. You put it at the end of your connectors and your spark plugs. It prevents erosion. Got some gloves because I don't like my hands fucking dirty, tools and whatnot. Um, it's pretty simple. You have your distributor pack here. Um, it is a V6 Ford Ranger, so that's why you have one, two, three four six five over there and it's gonna be pretty simple today spark plugs are pretty grabbable they're not too hard of a place we've got to be careful with the manifolds we don't want any wires or anything burning like that but it's gonna be pretty easy there it is right there so a major thing you're gonna to need to know is to see what you need to gap your spark plugs at but the spark plugs we already did get today, they are pre-gapped at 0 0.44. Um, I will later on show you the actual size with the measuring tool. Shout out to O'Reilly's. But yeah, this video is going to be pretty straightforward. Um, we are going to be swapping out the wires and the spark plugs. And it's going to be pretty simple. I hate your ass Hi. so much. My name is Zach. We're fixing my ranger today. Recording. <laughs> I can use all this shit. Let me get started. No. Okay, let's get started. Let's get started watching this motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what it is, West Side Boys, Ranger Boys, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fixing my broken ass, small ass. Wait, wait. Wait, you say? you're fixing your sorry, broken sorry, ass? Sorry, I'm watching. I'm watching. <laughs> I'm observing. Oh my I'm god. A, I'm, I'm in training right now. In training. Oh, major key alert. For those of you that don't know, my girlfriend is one of the best baristas. Kellen, did you know that? No, I did not know that. Okay. I can't, my self screen isn't on, so I don't know if I got you in that internet, but I could hear you, so. So, first thing I'm gonna do is, get this off right here i'm gonna go wire by wire and take it off the spark plug right there take the spark plug and then we're gonna put them back on all right unusual people in the vlog this is the homie zach what up the homie kellen kellen what is I'm, unusual? I'm not about to be unusual you know what i'm saying i mean you're not like i didn't meet you through cars we've been boys ever since like the womb you know what i'm Forever. saying but here i am here i am changing your spark plugs Forever. It's here. funny, you guys. Here. All right, I'll take that. Hi. How do I turn this beat? Cool. What's up? You guys are probably laughing at me saying that. Oh, this little bitch. Can't... Sorry, I can't curse on these. I'm sorry. This is Kelton. Hi, Kelton. Hello. All right, so we're going to watch my boy here work. Watch my boy work. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to handle that. Did it turn down itself or what? No. I, I, oh, yeah, it's, it's working. Okay, bring it over here. All right, here we go. So. First thing we're gonna do is take this off here, take it off the top. Take it off the top. I probably will do a vlog later on how to test your spark plug wires, but for now, you unplug this, get a flathead screwdriver, you unclip this right here, run this through, and then you come over here, and then you just take it off the spark plug. Nice little wiggle wiggle. And the first one is done. All right, so what we're gonna do is, all of your spark plugs are 
your spark plugs and spark plug wires. Spark plugs are the same, but your spark plug wires are all different lengths. So we're gonna unbox it now and then find the one that equals the same size. Oh, oh, that killed it! I was ready to base drop. Can you grab drop. the phone and throw it in the cap? I was so ready to base drop. What a gapper is, <laughs> is... I don't necessarily know if it's a gapper, just that word itself or not. But, today we actually do not need it, but what you're gonna actually ever use that for is, you get this here. We'll go on the blog. You're gonna start here, and you wanna go all the way till it stops. You said these are gapped to 44. That's what he said. Well, fucking guy's a liar. These are not gapped to 44. Okay. My bad. You're good. So, work. Need some work. 0 0.040, so 0.40. All right, so the gapper, what it does is it creates the space that you need for your truck or vehicle. You wanna come over here. If you ever are under your hood and you're gonna see your spark plug gap. Um, usually right here, it would list it, but we already know it is 0 0.044. We're gonna go here. Okay, stop it right there. And to close that gap, you just get your measurement tool, hit it right there, and you go as so. So, it's a little tight. That's exactly what we wanted because you don't want it loose. And then we're gonna stop it at 0 0.04, as in so. Cool. All right, so. Do you know what your spark plug does for you? I yeah, ignites. <laughs> yes, I do. What is your spark Why you gotta plug? throw me on the spot? Like, always throw me on the spot, guys. <laughs> what does your spark plug do for you? <laughs> Bro, I'm an operating engineer. I'm not a goddamn mechanic. And you dropped uh, my water. I, I'm a. I'm not even a mechanic myself. I'm not even a YouTube mechanic. That's All right, fine. We'll explain so, it to us. What this does is this gap right here. What it does, it creates electricity for your ignition to start the combustion to actually start your truck, car, whatever it is. So. If I said that wrong, leave a comment down below, but I definitely think I nailed that. Sorry, guys. Oh, yeah. Ow! All right, guys. So, the first spark plug is out. I'm going to give you... So, for the past two weeks, Zach has been saying... His truck just started. <laughs> <laughs> His truck just started misfiring. It just started not accelerating right. So if your spark plugs are going out, the common issues you're gonna have is that your uh, you can't accelerate. You're gonna notice that you're struggling accelerating. You have a rough idle, uh, misfiring. So I'm talking about your truck, and I need to know what problems you have so I can explain to the viewers. I do want music, but this is a prime example. Oh, I don't know if my spark plugs are bad. They're bad. Let That's a fire song right let there. Let me tell you. That is a song right there. Let me okay. tell you what happened, all right? Okay. I'm driving down good old Paseo. For y'all that don't know what Paseo are, it's a piece of shit road. I'm driving down. Okay, I'm driving down Paseo, right? Yeah, turn that shit off. That shit's so gay. And, um, sorry, I don't have nothing against gay. Okay, so I'm driving down Paseo, and my truck started limping on me you know what I'm saying like oh oh and I was like what the hell's going on my check engine light started flashing at me kind of got scared but I didn't have time to take care of it so I had to park it for a little bit grab the other little beater and started driving it around this is probably my fucking beater but whatever so listen okay are you gonna explain to them what problems you had that's where I was going with you. yeah what problem what do you want me to say what's wrong what with no like what or are you experiencing because your spark plugs are bad? Okay, so my spark plugs are bad, right? I started limping out, jerking out. I couldn't top over 15. I was having problems accelerating. So like I said, common problem, acceleration issues. He's having those. All right, so you have your new spark plug and your, your old, old spark, spark plug. plug. Holy fuck, is that? Th Holy, Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. To my cousin who said he changed it out, fuck you, you didn't okay. change it out. All right. Sorry, excuse my language. I'll, I'll edit it out later. <laughs> All right, so we have new one and the old one, as you guys can see. Spark plug is bad. Another way to show you that your spark plug is bad is where are the fuck's the gapper? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Change this shit. That's a fire song. No, it's not. <laughs> You're supposed to be at spec 0.40 and he's at 0.50. <laughs> so the spark plugs are bad. Just do maintenance on your cars, guys. Come on. Alright. So what you're gonna do is 
you're gonna get some dye electric grease what it does is you put it on the end of your spark plug and you also can put it to the connector that goes into your distributor cap and what it's going to do it's going to pre prevent erosion and stuff like that um i was looking over here the distributor cap does not have any cracks or anything like that and he does not have a rotor on the bottom of it some distributor caps do have a rotor which could do uh have erosion on the four point areas but it doesn't it's connected straight through i don't see any cracks so i don't see any reason why to change out the distributor cap but it's cool what i gonna do is get the dielectric grease just kind of rub it on there so what it's gonna do is this goes on the inside and then your connector goes around top and this is gonna just prevent erosion. Let's see if I can reach it by hand. All right guys, so what you always wanna do is hand tighten things. You never wanna just go straight into torquing or go ahead and using your sockets or anything like that and tightening. Why? The possibility you do have to miss thread or cross thread or strip whatever you want to say that could be a huge problem and you will not get the connection you actually need so that is tight wow he greased her up wow he lubed her up and everything what a sweetheart i'm married though so don't try it i know all right guys so i don't know where you're at in there but you never want to tie in from the top of your handle, your extender, whatever you're using. Why? Because the torque on top is completely different from the bottom. So if you're up here, you're not gonna know your tension and you do have a possibility of stripping or breaking your spark plug or any bolt or anything like that. So a good thing to do is go ahead and start at the bottom and just go ahead and tie in. I already did tie in it, but I figured I'd just let you guys know some common knowledge. For you guys yeah. that don't know, and that's Papa 86. Daddy 86. It's my dad's. <laughs> yeah. That's all that. That's all this. And and it's not gonna give you any warnings at the when you put in the. It checked. It, it flashed my checking. Like, that's all yeah, crazy. he's coming out here. Yeah, see what we're doing. Yeah. Check Auburn help, help because, because it missed. I need help. But then it'll pick back me. up. Putting the first wire back on. So. Wow, look at those new wires. Like I said, under distributor cap, this is a V6 Ford. So one, two, three, four, six, five. Um, it does go in a V. So you're gonna have. These ones go to this side. These are gonna wrap around. These will be your longest cords and they will go to the spark plug on this side. Um, what you wanna do is, yes, if you're a mechanic, I'm a YouTube wannabe mechanic, so I'm not gonna undo all the wires, but do it one by one. It's smarter, it's easier. Um, so I'm just gonna relay this back down here. Oh shit, I poked up. And this is gonna go I'll put the clip back on eventually, but I messed up. But you're going to listen for one click, but it clicked in. So you're going to listen for one click on top and one click on the bottom. And just repeat the process. So right here, you already have the first, whatever you want to say, cable clamp. And then down here, oh, let go. You have another one. So what you're going to do is get a flathead screwdriver. It's the only one I could find. I don't know how, but you're just going to enter it in here. Oh, let me see this. Go ahead and enter it in there. And then as you can see, you put it in between those and you're just gonna lift up and start at zero. Same thing, 50. So you're about six, six off. There we go. There you go. <laughs> oh yeah, now we're thinking. <laughs> All right guys, so we are more than halfway done. Let me catch you guys up real quick. I have one, two, three on the distributor cap, all ready to go, set and done. These are all been swapped out. Put the clamps back together down there as well. Make sure they are not touching the manifold. They're all in the proper position. All the clamps are put back together. Um, so that's all good. And then I already started with the new one, going to the other side as well, going as right here. Like I said before, make sure you do not leave your hoses to touch the manifold. Bless you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, what did you do? So I bought four. <laughs> wait. What? Four spark plugs instead of six. And what? What's your truck? It's a six-cylinder, 3.0. But you know what? It's, it's a V6, a, it's boy. A, it's out of force habit. When I had a Honda Civic, it was a it was a four. Baby. Okay. So right now we're gonna go to O'Reilly's and buy two more. Two. Taco Bell. More like taco smell. And it helps because O'Reilly's is right there. Because we don't have enough spark plugs. Fuck, sorry. 
Can I just show your hand a bit? How dirty your arm is. That's a hard working boy right there. <laughs> I'm hurt, bro. Got a Baja Blast. Oh, they are? Oh, What'd you get? Limonada. Give me that here. I don't even know what that is. That's mine. Oh, give me the crunchies? You, you get crunchy too? No, you got crunchy. No. I didn't get three crunchies. Huh? Oh, wait. Hey, oh, dude. that's my thick little chalupa, chalupa. boy. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? This got all like... gross. This is delicious. What do you Fire got? hot sauce on a wedge. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Dude, is that a Supra? Is that a Supra? We're, uh, we're done at Taco Bell. It hasn't happened yet, but I just might get bubble guts. If y'all don't know what bubble guts is, it's about five minutes after Taco Bell. Stay tuned. If you're, <laughs> stay tuned. <laughs> if you don't need the bathroom, you're fine. If you need the bathroom, you know what bubble guts is. All right, we were going home, but it's five o'clock somewhere. Yeah. If y'all know where I'm going with this. <laughs> it's hot outside. Mm -hmm. We've been drinking a lot of water. Too much water. Too much water, baby. We want the good, good. We want the good juice. Is it Modelo time? Yeah. Modelo time. Maybe Modelos. Double whites. Y'all. Damn, bougie double white. You guys aren't from the state. You have no double whites. Right? Actually, it's the most basic. Actually, Marble now sells out of state. If you didn't know. Really? I Dead ass. That. See that? They do. They, they blew up, bro. Shout out to Marble Brewery. Good job, Marble. Marble? That's where it's said, dog. Huh? But I don't know if I can take the vlog in, so I will holler probably keep it. Probably keep up with you guys or holler at you when you keep back in. I don't know what he's doing. That's it right there, boys. Yep. Yep. That's that's where it's at. It's five o'clock somewhere, boy. Also, it's no Delta time, poo. All right, boys, we are back at it. We are continuing where we left off. Uh, like I said earlier, we finished the this three on the right side of the distributor cap. Like I said before, these three go to the left side. These on my left will go on the right side. It's the V formation. So anything on this side will go this way. Anything on that side will go that way. Um, these three will be your longest wires and they're gonna go behind and I'm gonna go to the spark plugs down here below. Well, we do we do only have two more to install. As you can see, we have the front one and the rear one. I didn't. There's no reason why I went to the middle one right away. I was just kind of figure out what wire went where, so I just swapped out the middle one. But we did go to rallies, as you guys saw, and we got the two new spark plugs. So we're gonna finish those up and then get everyone on their way because they got stuff to do, and I'm practically almost done. You know what? People use two boxes for tools. I use them to get higher than what I need to see. A little step ladder. So, remember one, two, three, four, six, five. So the fourth one is off. Um, it is down here dangling. And then we're gonna get it through the bracket over there and then take it out from the other brackets and then disconnect it. I'm just taking out the wire now. Okay. So, take that out there. And then, take it out here. Boom. Oh, that was supposed to be so satisfying. And it wasn't. Woo! Woo! Oh, it's hot. Okay, like I said, as it gets tighter, you do not want to hold it from the top because you do not know your tension that is different from down here to compare it up here. So, I'm just gonna slowly go once more, and it's tight. Crossing that wire in the back back there, right? I'm putting it behind. Okay, it's gonna go. Yeah, okay, brother. Yeah. And your car literate like that can get only four spark plugs when you need six. Yep. So a quick little tip, if you guys do not know which cord goes to which 
on the distributor cap that's labeled four. Like I said before, on the distributor cap, it goes one, two, three, four, six, five. I have not replaced the sixth one yet. As you guys can see, let me see if I can pull it up. It says six right there. So these are pre-labeled for you. Unfortunately, after you know, aftermarket ones, they maybe are or are not. But for pre-example, the OEMs should be labeled which one they do go on the distributor cap. All right, last but not least, listen for the click. Oh, shit. You won't be hard to accelerate anymore. No rough starts, no, no misfiring. Of course we are. Hell yeah. All right guys, let's go over a little recap um, over the install and throughout what we did today. We changed out all the wires. As you guys can see, Look how worn these are. And then the spark plugs, all of them in the Ranger. So 1998 through 2012, I believe, four Rangers, all of them with the spark plugs and the installs are the same. Um, this one was a V6. So that means that there are six cylinders, AKA six spark plugs you need to change out. Remember, if you guys ever are in your car and need your spark plug gap size, look here. But in this one's gonna be in the owner manual. I already didn't know that it was 0 0.44 or 0 0.044. Um, you have, remember, one, two, three, four, six, five. This side goes to the left side. The left side goes to the right side. Remember that, okay? Um, if you guys do have some dielectric connector grease, what it does is it does get rid of erosion or prevents erosion. So go ahead and put it right here on top of these before you put it into the distributor cap. Also put it at the end of the spark plugs. So when you put it in there, it prevents erosion. And yeah, that's about it. With the spark plug install and swap, what it does is his, obviously his startup felt better. His uh, truck seems to be all right. And the acceleration is pretty good, but we're really gonna go put it to the test. All right guys, while we were waiting for this light, let me know in the comment section below of what you guys thought of this video. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, let me know what you guys thought about the install, if you guys noticed anything, any tips, or what else you guys would like to see. If you guys liked that, let me know. Leave a comment down below. All right guys, so the video did die like we did project. A um, Couple things besides that, we are at about 315 subscribers. Huge shout out to you guys. If you haven't already, thank you for sticking to the end of this video. Make sure to subscribe, like I said. A um, little, little update. It is time to show some love to the MK1 Golf Cabriolet. Uh, we have some videos and stuff coming up for this. I'm not gonna let you know what it is yet, but we do have some stuff in the store. Uh, for the Everest over there, the Everest, we did pick up a couple of new sponsors i'm not gonna let you guys know what it is until the sponsor boxes and stuff get here but for those teams i do watch a huge shout out to you guys and let me be part of your team uh so keep an eye out for those videos huge shout out to zach let me work on your truck learn and stuff like that of course um like i said i don't do it for anything but to learn and that's what this channel is all about um if you guys like this video make sure to leave a like comment down below and as always no matter how far you get in life always remain humble and always try to make a difference